C. It says you want to do integrals. Right. So let's see, to start with, let's put this in our picture. So let's make a new picture of what they're asking us. What would N be in this problem? One. Yeah, how do you know? Because it's ground state. So I'm just going to put in one half wavelength. Okay, now remember that what we're trying to do here is we're trying to uh, find the area under the curve. We're trying to find the area under the curve. Now, one way to find the area is just to say, well, this is like a rectangle, and the area is the length times the width. You could just say it's length times the width. The reason that we usually can't do that is because it's not really a rectangle, because this height is different from this height. For example, let's say I wanted to find this area. If I wanted to find this area, it's not really clear what I should use as the height, because the height here is different from the height here, which is different from the height here, which is different from the height here. That's why we have to use integration. We have to use integration to take into account that the height keeps changing. However, when, the, when the, the region is very, very small, like it is here, notice that the height is not changing very much. The height is pretty much constant over this tiny little region here. So instead of using integration here, we can just do height times width, or height times length. So I can go ahead and erase all of this stuff that we had from before, because we're not going to have to do any more integration. What is the width of this rectangle going to be? The height is given by this curve here. Well, what, what is this curve? A sine curve. What curve is that? Ly equals x squared. Who squared? x squared. Where is this curve coming from? Remember that all this work that we've been doing, we've been saying that the probabilities are um, given by the psi squared function. Squared. All of these functions that I've been plotting here on the chart, those were all psi squared functions. Remember that the probability is the area under the psi squared function. All this work we've been doing is finding the area under the psi squared function. So this curve here is psi squared. Let's use the root 2L times. So here's psi, but what we want is psi squared, uh, which is this. So yeah, so what's the height going to be? said this was 0.7, 0.7 L. So yeah, we know that we're going to be using 0.7 L here. Now actually, we're, we're really going from a little bit less than 0.7 to a little bit above 0.7, but this is such a small window that the height is pretty much the same everywhere. So we can just plug in the midpoint, which is the 0.7. 5.7 L over L. That's right. So we can just use length times the width to find this little rectangle. We don't need to use complicated <coughs> integration because the height isn't really changing over such a small rectangle like this. So let's try simplifying that. Point oh 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 two. 
Let's see, let's simplify it on paper first. Yeah, the L's cancel. Times 2 sine squared. How do you do sine squared on? Let's simplify this term here first. How can we simplify with pi? Yeah. Okay, yeah. How do you take sine squared? So on the calculator, this is going to be 0. 0.0002 times 2 times 7. So on the calculator, you actually you can't put the square after the sine. On the calculator, you would put the square here. If it made you feel more comfortable, you could put the sine in parentheses, but you don't actually need that. Um, you can just take the sign uh, and then square that, and that should give us the right answer. Oh, 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 do you say? <coughs> okay, that doesn't look bad. <coughs> Is this what you got? Three, three zeros? Yep. How do we interpret that? Three, four. Yeah, but what, what is it? What's that tell us? What was the question? The probability is really small that it will be in that area. That's right. Now, notice how wide was the area. The area was 0. 0.0002 One. of the width. So actually, we're a little bit more likely than you might have expected to be in there. You yeah. can kind of see why that is, because actually the curve here is kind of high. The curve here is kind of higher than average. Um, if we had tried to find the air, uh, this region of uh, 0. 0.002, maybe the probability would be a little less, a little less than average. But here the probability is a little bit more than average. Okay. So again, the fraction of the box that we're looking at is not necessarily the probability that will be in that box.